All right. Hi everyone, it's Mike here from Player One Ready. Uh, this is my second F uh, FIFA Legend review. This of the ex Real Madrid and uh, Spain striker Emilio Butigueno. Uh, he scored 14 goals in nine games for me. And a uh, little fun fact for you about Butigueno: 1986 World Cup against Denmark in the quarter final. He scored four goals in a 5-1 win. And actually, Denmark were meant to be quite a good team back then. They had two Loudrup brothers. Both legends on this game as well. Bit of trivia for you. Anyway. Going into his in-game stats, he actually has an abundance of full green stats. We have 92 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 90 finishing, 94 finishing, sorry, 90 positioning, 84 shot power, 81 long shots, 87 volleys, 85 penalties, 83 short passing, 91 reactions, 85 dribbling, 80, uh, 85 ball control, 87 dribbling, uh, 86 balance, 88, uh, 86 agility, 88 balance, and 81 heading. Going into his, well, the other thing I want to show you really is his finishing, because other than that, well, all you have to do with him is run and shoot. It's not really difficult. That's kind of what you have to do with him. I'm not. I will say this: although finishing is fantastic, he will score you goals. He is not Marco Van Basten, who is much better at it. But he is easier to create chances with. In, if Van Basten's positioning is very good, uh, but he's a bit slow and he's not very good on the ball. Butchwina is very good on the ball, and he is very quick, but. His finishing isn't just isn't as crisp as Van Basten's. Although, be it still very very good. So I've only really got goals to show you because I didn't really use him to take on a lot of players. You can do it, but I didn't do it. Maybe, maybe took on a couple and they resulted in goals, but other than that, and you don't really pass with him because well, he's a rapid striker that's always in position. So who are you going to pass to? You can just shoot every time. You do just run to him 40 yards backwards and pass it off again. No, you're going to run. You're going to shoot like this one. Easy. It's it's a simple card. Uh, yeah, I can get him for around about 490 now. I bought him for about 510 at the time. Uh, so he is going down in price, uh, as you expect as the, as the game goes through. Although I will say now you can probably get Mark Van Basten. Well, you get Mark Van Basten for about 70k cheaper, 60k cheaper, and he is the better striker. Albeit this one is a very good card indeed. Uh, if you like your quick strikers, you like your Musa, uh, Musas. You like your Vardy's and whatever, then he is a very, very he is a massive upgrade. Obviously, being about what a hundred times the price of either of them, but um, yeah, you can't really go far wrong with this card. Although you could do better, uh, and that doesn't make sense to a degree. But when you think about how much it costs and what you could get instead, there are better alternatives if you just need an out and out finisher. If you need someone who can actually use easier. Maybe I need someone up front with him, maybe someone taller because he is weak as piss. Uh, he literally cannot hold off anyone. I think an Ethiopian child could out-muscle him. I, I generally think a five-year-old could. I'm surprised I'm surprised that he doesn't just fall over when the ball hits his foot, to be honest with you, because he's a massive, massive pussy, but he can finish, so it's fine. We, 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 I, that, that, that's all right. I don't, don't mind that. I don't mind being a mahoosive, mahoosive bell end if you can score. See Luis Suarez. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this card. Other than he's a really good finisher and he's quick. I don't know what you're expecting. That's all his card suggests he is. Um, I've added something new into my reviews. I'm actually doing value for coins now. I've given him five star overall rating, but his value for coins is only three and a half star. Well, because Van Basten's cheap and he's better. Hence the con. He isn't Van Basten. Uh, he can finish though. His positioning's good and he's quick and his passing's all right. So other than that, he's not bad at all. I'd buy him. Well, I should buy Van Basten. Talking of Van Basten, uh, if you want to watch my review on the Dutch legend, then that is top left. Middle uh, review for Tony Kroos, his team of, the, team of the year card. And for uh, severe striker Luciano Vieto, it's bottom left. Nice. 